Hi everybody, this is Matt. Well, for those of you that might be new to the AR-15 platform, the AR series of modern sporting rifles, this can be helpful to you, even to your old timers. Hopefully this will help out a little bit. What do I have in front of me? Well, kind of like the heart and soul of the AR. This is the bolt carrier group. And this does require maintenance because things eventually will break, things wear. And what do I have here? I have spare parts for basically anything that can go wrong with this bolt carrier group. I have a couple of extra firing pins, I have extractor parts, springs, I have keys, and I have gas rings. So, first of all, how do you know if you have worn this out and you need to replace gas rings? Well, with this fully extended, tip it up, and if it goes down on its own, time to replace them. But obviously, without pressure, this doesn't do that. How do you disassemble this? First of all, this was designed to be disassembled with the tip of a 223556 round. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out this cotter and make sure that you never do anything to this. You don't spread these things out, you don't tweak them at all. The next thing that happens, I tilt this up. Out comes my firing pin. I rotate this, pull it out, and voila, here it is. So the firing pin comes down into here, and it's actually partially held in place by this guy. And we'll get after that in a moment. So you can see where the firing pin runs, and the firing pin actually runs through this. Your gas rings are right here. There are three of them. Make sure that they're free floating. Make sure that you keep this area lubricated and cleaned. Preferably you do it every time that you fire the weapon and you go to the range. So to reassemble it, it's pretty easy. Line this up like so. Just make sure that the extractor is pointed in the correct way and you will see that this will line up like so. I drop this guy in, rotate it. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and come forward on this. That will help me to drop in the firing pin. However, one mistake that I've seen people do is before they get that firing pin in there, they will go ahead and do this. Now it looks like that firing pin is seated, right? Wrong. Firing pin comes out. If you try to operate the weapon with that thing in that position, you are going to be in for a very bad experience, one of which I call a religious experience, and I would not recommend it. So, we will go ahead and we will reinsert the firing pin. Pretty easy. Get it in all the way, like that, before you reinsert the key. So we get the key back in there. Guess what? Doesn't come out. This rotates just fine. Extractor's in the right place. And basically, we're good to go. It's that simple, but they do require maintenance. I hope this helps, and until next time, thank you very much for watching, and everybody be safe out there and have a good one.